Hey guys, so in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about humectants. It's gonna be a pretty quick video because I just wanted to uh, explain humectants in the most simple way because I know a lot of you guys are wondering what are humectants and why is it something that everyone wants to have? Okay, let's get started. So humectants are uh, substances that join water vapor, moisture from the air, if you will, and they retain that moisture on our skin and keep it hydrated. Pretty much humectants are what makes your skin all look dry and ashy. We don't like ashy, right? The reason why humectants are able to pull in moisture so well is because humectants are able to adding a lot of hydrogen atoms to their structure. It can also lose the hydrogen atom really easily and I'll explain further why. This ability to lose and gain hydrogen atoms so fast to the structure is the reason why it's important to sometimes have an emollient in your product as well. And I'll explain more about that in a second. Humectants are your best friend, especially for us. Humectants is something that I definitely advise every person of color to have or make sure they have in their products. Examples of humectants that are pretty common are glycerol. A really easy way to identify humectants is anything that has all in it, so OL at the end, so propanol, glycerol, sorbitol. Yeah, really anything with an all at the end is most likely gonna be a humectant. Of course, there's going to be outliers to that, but for the most part, humectants end in all. Also, AHAs and BHAs. AHAs such as glycolic acid, which is really is a der derivative of glycerin. Salicylic acid, which is BHA, are also humectants. So those are also some examples that you might want to keep in mind. A lot of times you see that humectants are mixed in with emollients or occulsives. Emollients are substances such as petroleum jelly or even dimethicone silicone. And these are uh, substances that form like a film on the surface of the skin and prevent a water loss. Because a lot of the times, humectants, as much as they're good at drawing moisture from the air through osmosis, you know, from an area of larger concentration to a layer of lower concentration like our skin, humectants also, when there is high humidity or when it's really dry out, humect uh, our body tends to uh, lose all that water to uh, transepidermal water loss, uh, through sweating, we tend to lose a lot of moisture in hotter weather, which is why you notice in the summertime, your skin might tend to be a little bit more drier. So it's important to make sure that you have an emollient in your product, especially in the summertime, because you do wanna seal in that moisture and keep your skin you know, soft and luscious and supple. So yeah, before I go, if you wanna go all natural, really natural humectant that's readily available that you literally can grow in your backyard is aloe. Aloe vera is a proven great humectant, great for the hair, great for the skin. So you can always uh, do that instead of, you know, getting a chemical humectant. All right, you guys, this is gonna be a really quick video. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about humectants, make sure to leave it in the comment section below and I will answer them as best as I can. As always, I love you guys. Make sure to subscribe. Thumbs up the video, it really helps me out. As always, I'll see you guys next time.